Hi, this is Donna Kurczynski, and I have a mini podcast here. It's less than five minutes. This podcast is about ego and thoughtful questions that go with ego. We all have egos. We need egos to be confident, to say what we believe and what we think. We need our egos to show the world that we are competent, that we can handle any situation, that we can survive. But when ego gets in the way of a person's success in life or relationships with family, friends, colleagues, then It's a problem. Have you ever been in a situation where someone close to you could benefit from your opinion, your ideas, but has such a huge ego they would never consider it? And you watch that person suffer because their ego gets in the way of you, of you giving them advice. It's like a huge brick wall. I have a suggestion. First, Check your own ego at the door and approach the person with the idea of respecting their thoughts and their ideas. There is a simple way of doing that, and that is to ask thoughtful questions. By asking thoughtful questions, you're getting them to express their opinions, thoughts, and ideas. Yes, yes, you are playing to their ego. You're not attacking or judging them. You are listening very carefully to their answers. And from those answers, you ask another question using their words or their phrases. If you can, ask calmly and quietly. And there's no peppering of questions. Take an example. Suppose there is someone close to you who has missed an opportunity for a job. Once they get over their initial disappointment, ask them a broad question what happened. They may come back tersely and say, I didn't get the job. So you wait a few seconds. Don't say, why didn't you get the job? Say, tell me more. Then wait. Be patient. Don't butt in. Just keep on waiting. They may say something and they may not. Then, in a little while, ask another question. Is there another way of getting what you want? Uh, A different strategy, perhaps? See, what you're doing by asking questions, you are telling them that you care, that you're hearing them, but you're doing more than that. You just may be subtly getting them to think about their own actions, their own thoughts. By asking questions, you may take them past their bruised ego and help put them on a new track and maybe think a little differently, act a little differently, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Give it a try. It's worth it. Be patient and listen. And in the meantime, check out my new course, Wired to Heal, at wiredtoheal.ca, W-I-R-E-D-T-O-H-E-A-L dot C-A. And until next time, I'm Dorna Kurczynski.